Well, what's going on everyone? Different kind of video for you today, just a chill video, right? Just to kind of show you what I'm working on here in the garage. And if you don't know this about my channel, I'm kind of performance oriented when it comes to e-bikes, right? I love fast bikes and powerful bikes and I like making them faster and more powerful. And I did just launch my first product, which was the front motor kit, citizenperformance.com, where you can take your ordinary fat tire e-bike and make it all wheel drive by putting a motor on the front. And uh, been pretty successful so far. So thank you, appreciate all the support. But in creating that kit, I also ended up with a lot of like spare parts laying around the garage, right? I got extra batteries and wiring harnesses and controllers. I got like five different extra controllers and I can't just leave that stuff sit around. I gotta like try stuff with it. So I'm experimenting today. I'm experimenting on this Hemiway Zebra. It's got the front motor kit on it already, but I got to thinking, okay, I got all this extra stuff. What if I take my kit controller and battery, what if I hook that up to like the Hemiway motor? What happens? So that's what I've been doing, plugging aftermarket stuff into the stock Hemiway motor to see what happens. And uh, I'm kind of surprised actually what happened. L let me show you what I'm doing. All right, now I know this looks like chaos right now, but just go with me on this for a second. I'm gonna explain everything. So here's the experiment that I'm running. I have this extra controller. This is a 40 amp controller. Um, this was before I decided to go with 45 for my front motor kit. I tested a 40. Thought 45 would be better. So I've got this extra 40 laying around. I've got my kit battery right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug these two items into the stock Hemiway motor to see what happens. Now, the first problem I ran into is my motor plug on my kit is different than the Hemiway motor plug. So, you know, I happen to have an adapter laying around because I got like four of these laying around. I got a lot of parts in here now. So if I take and plug this in to my kit controller. Now I can plug into the Hemiway motor. There we go. We got a controller plugged into their motor. Now I need to get onto this battery. I was experimenting with XT90s, which I ended up going with XT60s on my kit. So I have a 90 to 60 adapter I made. <laughs> Just stay with me here. Just stay with me. All right, so now we're gonna plug in our battery into this, this Hemiway motor and controller. Okay, we got juice. And then this wire right here is my controller plugged into this wiring harness, which goes up to the display, I'll show you. I didn't wanna remove all the display and everything off of the bike, so I just plugged it in right there. So we are all set. I have the Hemiway motor attached to my 40 amp controller and 52 volt battery. Let's see what happens. All right, we got the system powered up. Are you ready to see what this Hemiway motor is capable of? Here we go. Thirty-six point four miles an hour. That's pretty darn good. Wow, I don't know if it'll do that with me riding or not. We may have to go test that. Get this thing hooked up where I can ride it somehow. But good to know that we can, uh, we can make that Hemiway motor go that fast. So now, I guess my question becomes, if I were to make another kit, like a performance upgrade kit where I could send you guys a controller, a display that could just kind of plug into your Hemiway battery and motor and give you 40 amps instead of What's it come with? 20, 22 amp, I think, controller in there? Obviously, I wanna make performance parts that people are interested in. So if I made a Hemiway kit, or if I made a Naventon kit, or you know, wh what bikes, I guess, would you wanna see these for? Because I can make some calls, I can have my controller adapted with the correct plugs so everything's plug and play for whatever bike and get them sent over. So let me know if you have interest in a kit like that and what bikes you want kits for. I'm not sure how high I can go on the controllers because the battery of the bike has to be able to handle the draw. I'd, I'd need to test that next. I'd have to find a way to connect to the Hemiway battery with this controller. Uh, I can't do it right now. I, I'm sure it has the typical two prong battery plugs and I'm using XT60. So I'd have to get like an adapter made for that. I don't have that adapter. And, and test if the Hemiway battery can handle a 40 amp controller draw on it. But um, I think 
I think these kits would be a lot of fun. I think it's a piece that's missing. What do you guys think? Now, I know they make controller upgrade kits for like rad power bikes. I've bought several of those. That's what's running on the Citizen bike. Are those upgrade kits like shunt modded, slightly modified? But there's a, I think there's a lot of holes in the aftermarket as far as having these kits available for other bikes. So maybe I can uh, create some of those for us if you're interested. Another thing I'm working on, I'm giving you all my secrets here. Uh, I'm working on doing a range extender that's easy plug and play. That's my goal. I want plug and play. Most people don't understand all the controllers and the you know, wiring harnesses and the plugs and this and that. So I, I wanna make stuff that's plug and play for you guys where you just have to plug stuff in. So I'm working on kind of a range extender where you can get the battery balancer with you know, all plugs that match the wiring harness. Uh, this is all stuff I'm, I made in my garage as prototypes. And once I get it all sorted out, I'll have the manufacturer build me some samples and send them over. But this would allow you to put a battery pack like this and also a balancer like all in your rear pack and then just connect down to your controller and your other battery using a wiring harness and it would just be like a kind of again like a one-stop plug and play kit so if you have interest in range extenders let me know or what other performance parts do you want to see that's kind of my goal for citizenperformance.com create some performance parts that people are looking for and they just can't get their hands on. But that's just a few of the things we've been working on today. Just kind of tinkering in the garage a little bit. I know I've been a little less prolific with videos lately, but I've been trying to finish up some bike reviews and then also I'm getting married in about a week. So that's been eating up some of my time. Mrs. Citizen will finally actually be Mrs. Citizen officially. So after that, we'll, we'll ramp things back up and I'll start putting out a lot more content for you guys. But I think it's time I find a way to find a way to get all this stuff onto this bike so I can actually ride it and see if the controller will uh, make this bike actually go 36 with me on it. That'll be impressive if that happens. Let's try it out. All right, let's give this a top speed test, see where we are. Up to 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 0.6, 31, GPS is at 32, 31 and a half, 700 watts, the watts kind of fell off, level ground about 30 maybe, 30 and a half, hit a little bit of a downhill, 31, that's not bad, way better than the 24 Hemiway gives you. But I'm noticing that once I hit over 28 miles an hour, the watts fall way off. They start out at like almost 1600. And then when we're cruising at 30 miles an hour, they're at 700, 800. I'm not sure why such a big fall off. Now they're at 1000. I don't know if that's something programmed in controller or motor. I would think, I don't know. I'm not sure on that. I'm gonna have to kind of research that part, I guess. This thing has way, way better acceleration with this bigger controller. I'll give you a acceleration run here. I'll try to get the camera closer so you can see the watts as well. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. See, the watts are at 15, 16, 15, 16, 50. And then we get up to speed. Bam, we hit 28 miles an hour and they drop down. Now they're at 850, 750, at 31 and a half miles an hour. That might just be the, uh, with the way these motor windings are in my, in my uh, well, in the Hemiway motor. Because it's my controller, my display, Hemiway motor. It just might be where the motor windings max out. It can't spin any faster than 31. So. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm just an experimenter. I'm not a uh, designer of this stuff. Well, uh, technically I designed this kit, but anyway, I need to research that more and find out if that's just as fast as this motor spins or what. But I mean, hey, 31 and a half miles an hour is way better than, I think 25 is about, 24.9 is where Hemingway normally cuts out. So we got a lot more speed and power 
by throwing my controller and display on there. So I think I could kind of throw together some kind of kit to increase the power of a Hemiway. I mean, I just did it here, just by not even like custom designing it, just by throwing on the leftover parts that I have available in my garage. All right, let's try to quantify this a little bit more. I went back to my uh, old video of testing the Zebra in its stock form, and it climbed the hill climb in 25 seconds, 25.2, I think it was. So let's test it out here. Now that we've getting a lot more power. Let's see how quick we can do it. All right, three, two, one, go. It's gonna be faster than 25, I'll tell you that. You can feel the pull off the line. 15 mile an hour, 15, 16. That's feeling pretty good time. I'm gonna say that was probably more like a 22 second climb. That was pretty good. I'll have to check officially in my editing, but I could feel that this bike was way, way more powerful with that bigger controller on there. The results might be a little bit skewed because I am running everything off this 52 volt battery. And if I made a controller display plug and play upgrade kit for Hemiway, you'd be running it off the stock Hemiway battery, which is 48 volt. But then again, this is a 40 amp controller powering the back motor. I might do a 45 for the kit, which may even it out. Uh, and actually this is way heavier than a stock Hemiway because I got my front motor kit on there, two extra controllers, an extra battery on there, all this extra wiring harness. So this is way heavier than Hemiway. I think it'd be probably just as powerful if you did a kit. I think it would be, the results would be very similar to what I just showed you. And I think the bottom line here is that you can, I, I determined that you can run a lot more power to that Hemiway motor. I rode for like seven miles and the motor's really not even, it's not hot. It's like lukewarm right now. So no motor overheating from it. That's good. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think it's possible. I mean, I, I did it out of spare parts in my garage, so I could probably design a kit to boost the power on this and probably do it for other bikes as well. I got a feeling people are gonna be wanting one for maybe like a vent in a venture bike. A bunch of you emailed me already asking about that. Let me know in the comments. I wanna I want to hear what you guys want for performance upgrade parts. What bikes, what things. But I think this would be pretty easy to do to boost Hemiway motors. Or if you just want a crazy boost, I mean, you could get the front motor kit, which is on pre-order right now. There's some left. I've almost sold through everything I ordered from the manufacturer. I was hoping that when I get the shipment in May, I was gonna have some left over. That way I would have a few in stock on the website, but I don't know. I might actually sell through all of them before they even get here. So, but there is some left. Um, Citizenperformance.com for that. And I'm gonna try to build out and put some more parts on there for everyone. But there you go, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the little experimentation. I do have that adventure bike hanging on the wall right there. I could potentially monkey around with that too let me know but it's all for today thank you so much for watching